Living Passionately with Pat Brown. Thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you for sharing and liking my videos. I greatly appreciate it. As usual, my goal is always to bring information to you that I believe can add value to your life or to the life of someone that you know. Today, this subject is going to be a little bit different. I will come back to our entrepreneurship chats because I've received so many uh, comments and questions on that. So I will get back to that, I promise you. But I wanted to take a pause and talk about something that I feel is really important, whether we are on our journey as an entrepreneur, as someone in the corporate field, as someone in the, a blue collar worker, as someone um, as a student, whatever you might be doing, it could be someone who's out of work right now and are trying to find their way back into the, the world of working. And so I want to share some information with you that has been helping me along the way this past year especially, but some of them I have employed for or into my life for a very long time. And um, I always have to go back and remind myself at times because we all fall off. But this week I had to really do some evaluation. And um, these are some habits that I have posted on my wall. And I want to share some of them with you. And I call them the seven habits for successful living or today we can call it the seven habits to a passionate life. And the first one I want to share is making your health a priority. Our health is our wealth. It does not matter where you are in life, your age or whatever you might do. If our health is not in order, it can create a lot of chaos or challenges in our life. And we want to avoid that as much as possible. There are things that will happen that we have no control over, but there are some things that we definitely can control. And for myself, it is looking at things that I eat. It's looking at things like um, daily exercise routine, drinking enough water, etc. Um, I try to get in an hour of exercise on a daily basis, usually walking, and that helps. Some days I can only do 30 minutes because I didn't follow my schedule or something like that, but my goal is always to do an hour of walking every day. The second thing that I want to share with you is having an attitude of gratitude. Every day, there is something to be grateful for. Every single day that we open our eyes, there is something to be grateful for. You can be grateful that you had a great night rest, that you had a peaceful night rest. You can be grateful that you slept on a comfortable mattress, that you breathe in fresh air, that there is clean water to brush your teeth, that there is warm water to take a shower. There is always something to be grateful for. Live your life in gratitude, no matter what your situation might look for. Try to find something to be grateful for. Number three is to maintain a positive mindset. And we all know that that can be challenging at times. We all get thrown off of our rocker sometimes but we always have to get back on track. Many years ago, I read a book called, What Do You Say When You Talk To Yourself? And there are so many great nuggets in that book. I highly recommend that you read that book. What do you say when you talk to yourself? Sometimes we are our biggest enemy, but we all know that we live in a world where there's so much going on around us. It's really important to maintain a positive mindset. And I challenge you to work on that. Every time something negative comes into your mind, think 
of something positive to reinforce that positive mindset. Number four is to keep track of your goals. Always keep in mind that consistency is better than rare moments of greatness. Try your best to be consistent on a daily basis when it comes to achieving your goals. I remember some years ago, a friend of mine told me to break it down into small chunks if it seems like a lot or into small parts, however you want to look at it or bite it off one piece at a time is what my grandmother would say. But every day, try to work on achieving your goals. Number five is to be true to yourself. Some people have the gift of garb and they can talk all kind of talk. It doesn't matter, you're not responsible for another adult. But be true to yourself. Whatever that means to you, I will leave that right there. Be true to yourself. I try my best to be true to myself. Okay? Number six is to minimize the time that you spend around negative people. Negative people can bring you down real fast. And sometimes it is hard to avoid negative people. Sometimes it can be in the workplace. Sometimes it can even be in your home. Sometimes it can be a friend or family member that you love dearly and that's just the way they are. And there's nothing you can do about them because again, you're not responsible for another adult. All you can do is allow your light to shine in this dark world that we are in. But really, avoid them as much as possible. Avoid people who are negative and speak negatively around you. And number seven is to always believe in the possibilities. Always believe that anything is possible. Believe in miracles that can happen any day. Believe that when you are working towards a goal that you can achieve that goal. Believe that it can happen for you just like it happened for others. But do not compare yourself to other people. Comparison is the thief of joy. So just believe in the possibilities that are out there for you. Remember, I believe in you. I know you can do this. And I am looking forward to hearing some great stories from you real soon. Take care until next time.